as a mother, a grandmother of 13, I do not want my grandchildren having to go through, having to be judged by the color of their skin. I stand as a leader in the community. I am a pastor. And I call upon every spiritual leader. If you have an ounce of God, if you have an ounce of decency, you should be speaking out against this insane, this hate. Hate is evil. If you study, if you study the psychology of hate, it means that someone is afraid to deal with the truth. And I'm here to tell you it's time to get the conversation started. You should not be afraid of me and I should not be afraid of you. But get this thing right today. We will not be silent. If you walk like a duck, if you talk like a duck, you're a duck. And we are not standing for racism any longer. I leave you with this. There is a scripture in the word of God that says, what does the Lord require of us? It is for us to do justice. I don't care what the color of your skin is. You have to love justice. You have to love humility. And you have to walk humbly with thy God. Listen, this is beautiful. We're going to start the healing process. And I can't wait to see two years down the road where we're at. This is not just a moment. This is a movement. We are pressing forward.